Hello. I thought I was going to uh, record some YouTube videos today, but I can't find my microphone. The one that I usually use. I have no idea where it is and I've been looking all over the place. So <laughs> here we are. I hope this works. This is my work microphone because audio is important. Now, I am coming in here today to tell you that I have found a game that I want to recommend to everyone. It's an older game, sort of older. It is not completely new. And I think it is, from my own experience, the closest game to Zelda Breath of the Wild that I have found that are not in the Zelda, you know, series. There is a small catch though, and that is this game is not on the Nintendo Switch. I know I have a Switch channel, but this is Isha Gaming, and I figured I gotta talk about the games that I am currently obsessed with. And I am currently obsessed with this game because of the freedom and how much it surprised me. Now, I am talking about Assassin's Creed Origins. It is my second Assassin's Creed game that I have played. The first game that I have played in that series was actually the Rebel Collection for the Switch. Do you want a review of that? Let me know. So, you know, so I started with Black Flag and that is a really good game. Uh, I highly recommend it. It takes a few hours to get really into it because it was my first Assassin's Creed and I was all new to the series so I didn't really know what the series was all about. But I learned uh, sort of quickly, sort of quickly. <laughs> in a few hours time, playtime, I got the hang of it and I understood what the series was more or less about. Now, Assassin's Creed Origins, that is a random purchase I did on PSN because there was a spring sale. I think it was 70% uh, off, 80% off, super much off, and I just went with it. And there's something about Assassin's Creed Origins that is it feels like something I have never experienced before. Now that is really hard to come by when you have been a gamer for all your life to find something that sparks something new and fresh to you, if that makes sense. And I think I found that in Assassin's Creed Origins. In my circle of the ones that I watch on YouTube, gaming channels, I have actually not come across any of my circle uh, talk about Assassin's Creed Origins or Odyssey for that matter. Maybe because I am in the wrong circles. <laughs> I think I can actually make a review of this game if you guys want to see that, even though it is a PS4 title and from experience PS4 videos on my channel don't do well, but in the end I don't care about that. I care about making the videos that makes me happy to make. Well, first of all, the world is so big and it's very, I want to say it's just as big as Breath of the Wild and just as many things to do and side quests as Breath of the Wild also has. And of course, there are main storylines. There's also a tiny bit of, you know, RPG elements that was actually introduced to the Assassin's Creed series with Origins because Assassin's Creed has been very sneaky and assassiny, but when Origins came around, it was like an Assassin's Creed game with RPG elements. And some of the people are arguing that Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which is the latest release, is actually an RPG game with Assassin's Creed elements. That is why some people don't like Odyssey, because they are veterans from the series, coming from the older titles, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, that sort of um, people. But I also want to recommend Odyssey. If you are new to the series, you'll love it because it's just an RPG game. Really good, you know, Greek RPG game. Now with Origins, what drew me to this game was actually the Egyptian settings. I've always been super interested in Egyptian mythology, culture, how they lived, you know, the pyramids. And you can actually find the pyramids, climb them, enter them, explore them in this vast world, which is an open world. It is insane. The attention to detail, 
and even in the animation scene, NPCs randomly on the streets are amazing. So I also want to ask you guys, what do you think about the Assassin's Creed series? Because I am new to the series and I've just gotten my eyes open for this series. I never thought I would. I never thought I would play Assassin's Creed because that is a series that I've only heard about, never gotten around to try because it wasn't appealing to me. But with this Egyptian setting and the open worldness and the freedom to the player, which I love, I've really gotten around to try the Assassin's Creed series and it has, like I said, opened my eyes. So I went a little wild on the sales because there was a sale on the PlayStation Store with the entire series. So I actually bought the Ezio collection, which includes Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations, which is a series. And I bought Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Unity, because that was also a package, another package deal that was heavily um, on sale. Yeah, heavily price reduced. Uh, Unity, Syndicate, Black Flag, yeah, that was also included, even though I have that on my Switch. Uh, I wanna, you know, it was in the package, so you know, there you go. And I have Rogue on the Switch, and I have Assassin's Creed 1 now on Steam PC, because that was also on sale. So actually, in a matter of a few weeks, I have um, purchased the entire Assassin's Creed series so far. So my plans are to play Origins, you know, thoroughly. I'm trying to get the Platinum Trophy in that. That is kind of hard, uh, but it is interesting. I am like sort of really committed into Origins right now and I'm having such a nice time in this environment. It is almost shockingly beautiful, let me just tell you. The graphics are out of this world, even though this is a 2017 game. I think I came over somewhere on the internet that Assassin's Creed Odyssey might get ported over to the Switch. Hopefully Origins will too, because it seems like the Assassin's Creed series are slowly coming over to the Nintendo Switch, because now we have Assassin's Creed 3 and the Rebel Collection on the Switch, which is Black Flag and Rogue. Really good games, I like them. I like them a lot. I currently play both of them actually on my Switch. I mean, like, this series has taken me by surprise. But I gotta say, the earlier titles, like Assassin's Creed 2, which I started the other day, is very much more <laughs> restricted and linear from what I felt when I played the beginning and a bit into the game. So it's, it's very different. So I can see why uh, Origins and Odyssey, which had more of an open world to them um, and more RPG elements, they are different from the series. And that is where the critique comes from. No one is saying that they are bad games. People are just simply saying in forums that those games just sort of don't belong into the, the old core series. But I like it. I love it. And the new Assassin's Creed is announced. Oh my god. Uh, Viking themed. And it's going to be called Valhalla. I actually thought it was going to be called Ragnarok. I don't know why I thought that. But it is announced. It is Valhalla. And it's coming 2020. You know, this coming holiday. That is going to be something that I'm going to buy at day one, because I'm a new fan to the Assassin's Creed series and I never thought that would happen. I've really been taken by surprise by, um, by Assassin's Creed Origins especially. Odyssey is also good, I'm gonna play Odyssey after Origins. <laughs> that was what I had to say about that, so I wanna say, uh, I hope you liked this video. If you didn't like it, you can feel free to dislike it, I, you know. As a small side update, uh, when I said the thing about my two switches, I found the solution to that, and that is simply restart, relaunch the game in question on the second switch, and then it will update your playtime, so it doesn't say played for a little while, it will actually revert back to the original playtime. So I got my playtimes back, I found the solution. Uh, another thing is that I have a secondary YouTube channel and that is where I will be uploading um, videos that are 100% not gaming related. There's already like a, a music blog up there and there was another video too but I put that to unlisted so that is Patreons only. 
Okay, so that was all for today, folks. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to me, and I hope uh, we can talk in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.